Hi, I'm Tim Borrow, commercial agronomist and silage specialist with Dow Seeds. So BMR produces less lignin so that more of the rest of the fiber is available for digestion, which makes more energy available from the corn silage, which allows the farmer to reduce the amount of grain he's feeding, feed a higher forage ration, the whole thing's healthy for the cow, healthy cows produce more milk. The four variations are naturally occurring, they're not GMOs. Dow Seeds uses a third variation, BM3. And what it does is it causes the greatest reduction in lignin, therefore the greatest increase in digestibility of the corn silage. So when you plant BMR, it's very much like planting any other corn, corn in the field. Um, the populations are about the same. We say in the 30 to 32,000 plants per acre, which is a moderate planting rate, grow it on fertile, well-drained fields that are not prone to drought. So there's a couple big things when harvesting BMR that are important. One is you want to make sure the cut length is, is long enough. So you want a minimum theoretical cut length of three quarters of an inch. But, you know, depending on your situation, uh, you can go up as high as an inch and a quarter long. The way the cow's rumen works is that it ingests the fiber and then it, it ruminates. So it actually, it actually brings that back up and chews its cud, goes back down again. And if the fiber pieces are too small, they pass through the rumen too quickly and really the, they go through undigested and so the cow can't get all the good out of it. Grain costs more money and especially if you have to buy it in, it costs more money than, than producing your own forage. The other downside is too high rates of grain in the rumen throw the rumen out of whack. You get a whole different set of microbes growing in the rumen and, and, um, and, and you get things like acidosis which is acid producing in the rumen that, which is undesirable and can cause problems for the cow. It'll pack in the silo still. Since BMR has less lignin, it actually does pack in better. The lignin, if you can think of it, it acts like little toothpicks in there and they'll, they'll kind of bridge up and, and, and keep the silage bulkier, whereas since, since BMR is lower in lignin, it's actually softer and folds down on itself and packs in better than, than a non-BMR corn silage. The cut length is very important. Uh, the second thing is moisture content. BMR. You know, I like to say I'd sooner err on the dry side than on the wet side. Going into a tower silo, you could go down to about 60%, uh, would, be, would be just fine. Into a, a bunk silo or a pit silo, around the 65% range is, is where you want to aim for. So the biggest thing with BMR silage that the nutritionist needs to know is that it's more digestible, therefore the cow can get more energy out of it, therefore the energy balance of the ration needs to be properly adjusted so that we're not over-energizing the cows with too much grain, which is very hard in the cow system and can lead to problems like acidosis and ketosis and laminitis. So knowing the BMR is there is very important so that the ration can be balanced properly. <music>